Catfish Dave here. It's hot. The mosquitoes are out by the millions. It is September 3rd, the day after Labor Day weekend. It was no time to be on the water fishing then. Way too many people. I'm going to be throwing some live bluegill in here. This is just some comfortable fishing right on the outskirts of Knoxville. Heavy populated, heavily fished. I'm going to be using a combination of cut bait and live bait. I don't have a lot of confidence in blues being in this hot of water way up this far up in a back cove creek this time of year. It's not impossible, but since I don't have a lot of confidence in being many blues in here, I've got some live baits I'm throwing into the mix, hoping for some flathead action. This back cove is several hundred yards long. At least half of it has a path that's fishable from the shallow end of the bridge over here to a fishing dock way down this way. Now when I first got here there was some guy cart fishing about where I wanted to go but what I done was I've got a little app on my phone called the Navionics app. The name of the app has actually changed to Navionics Boating HD but that's basically what I used to set up my spot to show me where I want to fish this thing. Now you could get fish all the way up and down it anywhere in it but I wanted some sort of different, some sort of drop off edge. I figure fish are going to want to hide if they got any size to them. So they're probably going to be in the deepest parts of this thing, I'm guessing, this time of year during this heat. But I open my little phone up here. But what I've got here, I don't know if you can see it or not, on this little red arrow. Now if I walk down that way, the arrow will go that way. If I walk that way, this arrow will follow me wherever I go. And as you can see, I'm right across, here this blue is the shallowest water, and then it starts dropping off deep here. I'm right in front of the deepest hole right here. And about 50, 60 yards down, this yellow square in the middle is a submerged bridge. But the Navionics app shows me depth, holes, humps. It'll show rock piles, it'll show submerged timber, submerged bridges. It basically shows you what the bottom looks like or the contour of it, how deep you're fishing. It can be a very valuable tool, even in the hands of a bank fisherman. I think I originally paid $9.99 or something to get the app on my phone and it has been on ever since. It's just now breaking dark enough but I'm going to grab this other float rig and I'm going to kind of walk it down out of the camera because these float rigs, you can't have them too close together. They'll swim into each other in the whole nine yards. I've got a clicker on that reel so if something hits it, I'll know it. Old green sunfish. It's a work night. So I'm going to give it about an hour after dark, see what happens. Something's on my float. Something's on the green sunfish. See what we got. See what we got.
That's what I was after right there. Ain't no giant, but I got my flathead. Very hot water, very slow time of year. Large live green sunfish. That old cat's wanting some of my flathead. You want some of that? Large green sunfish. 80 something degree water. Those floats are so buoyant, it's like using a noodle or a jug on a rod and reel. The buoyancy of the float actually sets the hook on the fish. I heard that clicker going off. I wasn't worried about it. I knew if it was a big enough fish and it wasn't a gar, he was going to be hooked. I had just clicked on and was fixing to watch an episode of Hook, Line, and Chill when I heard that clicker go off. people tonight's video was just about being in comfort close to the house fishing a high pressure area there's a million catfish lines a week to hit this place basically we're just outside of downtown Knoxville heavy population lots of rednecks that like to catfish this is basically a backwater creek cove that flows into the Little River which eventually flows into the Tennessee River I didn't expect much out here tonight was about being comfortable had me a nice little bench to sit on. Had me a kitty cat I could pet when I got lonely. Basically, I wanted to explain the Navionics Boating HD app that I have on my phone. It works in most big water systems, barge navigatable waters, major rivers and reservoirs in the U.S. with locks and dams. And it allows me to read the bottom of where I'm fishing. A lot of shallow water. I'm right at the first drop off going from about 8 foot into about 12, 13 foot of water. There's a slight hole right in front of me. Like I say, there's a submerged bridge just down here and then more 13 foot of water. The rest of it's all pretty shallow. Go to the Google Play Store, look up Navionics Boating HD app, install it on your phone and you can see what the bottom looks like where you're fishing. It ain't going to work in no little creeks, it ain't going to work in nobody's ponds barge navigatable waters. I set out to get a live bait flathead. I got one of those. Anytime you do that in my area, it's a successful video. This is a video. There was a fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.